Welcome to Flash Fleet. Flash <laughs> Feed to gaming. <laughs> Playing Darksiders 2, Death Innovative. Wow, I can't speak at all edition. Um, so, awesome game. If anyone's played, you know it's awesome. Except, alright, so subtitles, yes. Uh, difficulty. I'll do apocalyptic. Okay. Except. Alright. So, um, you're going to hear me crunching on a sucker. I do apologize, but it's raspberry. Raspberry makes me cream. <laughs> raspberry <laughs> creams! <laughs> so this is kind of important. There must be balance in the universe. Such is the decree of the Charred Council, the Char an ancient body charged by the Creator. <laughs> this is what you're crunching. Bang, this is awesome. But the balance <laughs> has been broken. Even now, Earth smolders in ruin. So right now they're the like going over the first the one. Destroyer mm -hmm. a new kingdom. Okay. His mighty that looks familiar. Some say the horseman war. That's the horseman. The apocalypse that he rode to Earth, unbidden. Well, yeah, because he starts war. Spent, fearless enforcers of the council's will. What a fury, strife, and death. To know those names, you must first know another. Nephilim, cursed union of angels. Oh! Nephilim, Got it! And burned them to ash. But for <laughs> In, uh, like in the first one, if you've never played the first one, I highly recommend finding a gameplay uh, for it because we don't have it right now. Uh, but go watch the first one before you watch this. Or we'll give you a quick play by play of what's going on. Well, the reason death is here now is this is before the seal is broken at the end of the first one. You know how he breaks the seal in order to let the other three come down? Not war. Um, lies chained at the he, he's basically going to. Uh, he's on his way to rescue uh, rescue war. Uh, before the seal was broken, I think that's what it's supposed to do. It's been a while since I've played. Well, what is it? You have war, famine, death, and pestilence, right? Mm -hmm. Which in this is war, death, fury, and strife. Okay. Um. To bargain for war. Well, the four horsemen. Death swore that he would resurrect humanity. Which that's kind of weird. He he had death now to resurrect. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm completely lost. Because usually it would go, war comes to Earth, and he starts war. So death With war comes, um, the death of your people, your crops, your, you know, your resources. Which then brings on famine. And then famine would bring on pestilence. And then finally, death is what wipes everything out. But oh. because the angels, uh, I think it was the council that initially did it, um, they wanted the fall of humanity. Mm -hmm. So they wanted everything destroyed. Which is really shitty. <laughs> wow, man, I haven't played. I think the, the last time I played Darksiders was way back when the first one came out. And it was a badass game. Like, it, it grabbed my attention the whole time. Do you remember what year that came out? Which? Uh, the first one? The first one, I think it was like 2004 or five. What year did Darksiders release? <laughs> January 5th, 2010. Really? It doesn't feel like it was only six years ago. Mm -mm. I think this one came out like two years ago, didn't it? Yeah. So, yep. I'm sorry. I am done with my thunder. So yeah, six, about six years since I've fucking played a game like this. 
And the only thing that I really remember was that it had a Devil May Cry slash uh, God of War feel to it. And, uh, And I'm sure you remember what our uh, Devil May Cry playthroughs were like when we tried to record them, and I fucking did shit. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, like, which is another reason why I'm guessing I'm playing this one. <laughs> um. But I heard Infamous. Um. I don't know why I brought that up. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, the the whole reason why I fell in love with the Darks, uh, the Darksiders games was because I loved the idea of the Four Horsemen in the Apocalypse. You know? And, like, them fighting for a man to destroy is kind of just... Right. Don't get me wrong. Do I want the fucking world to end and have an apocalypse actually happen? God, no. But the idea of it... Is interesting to myself. It's interesting to me. Bruh. You know what I mean? Wait, you have armor and shit that you can equip now? Yes. Let's so, yeah, so you can actually change your weapons. You can, uh, I think there's skills and stuff you can actually get too now. So they added more of an RPG element to it. Uh, you know, like a leveling system type. Oh, well. Well. It's a good thing you don't die when you do that. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That was cool! <laughs> Use that real quick and. So, you know what's weird to think? We have officially done two full playthroughs of okay. game. Right. Um, unless you count Mario, because. If you count Mario, then it's three. Uh, okay. Yeah. Nice bug. <laughs> bug. Nice. First bug. <laughs> I don't like bugs though. They're creepy, yeah. crawly. <laughs> anyway, because um, with Mario, we uh, it uh, we actually are not allowed to do Mario anymore. So right. That's why we uh, it just ended so abruptly. We said we were going to finish it, and there was just annoying stuff. <laughs> we were able to finish, though, beating Bowser, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. That was the last thing we did. Okay. Now I got the hammer. But personally, I don't count it, because that was kind of just like a, a filler type thing that we did. So we could figure out something. Uh, like for our next Let's Play, full series. Um, and now we currently have... Four games that are lined up. That are lined up, and we will be alternating through all four of them. And uh, if you guys prefer this method better, you know, just let us know. Um, alternating, or do you want to see one series at a time? It, you know, to us, it really uh, it doesn't bother us either way. But we thought it would be nice to have a little bit of a change. Right. And I mean, our our channel is not. Like, we, we don't want to make it seem like we don't care. We just want to make sure that we appease you, like, appeal to you guys, because we don't... We have fun doing this. That's the whole reason why we do it. It's not about making money. It's not about hopefully making it big. It, you know, it's about having fun, getting over fears, you know, just... just Which, if people aren't clear on that one, uh, FOF Prototype has, uh, what is it? Uh, severe shyness? <laughs> Fine, like, what would you call it? Being a bitch? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty much. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well. But yeah, so, uh, if you guys have any ideas or whatnot, you know, just go ahead and leave a comment down below. Even if it gets sent to our spam, we still read them. Um, and we reply to them too. Uh, as often as we can. Yeah, as often as we can. But we do both work full time jobs. 
so bear with us. <laughs> I, I guess you can call my Well, you work 40 hours a week, don't you? No. Oh, really? I wish. How many hours a week do you work? Like, uh, probably like 30 or so. Oh, uh, that's so much. I mean, it's still a decent amount, but... <laughs> oh, fuck, at least you have a job, you know. That's true. I love my new job. Working... Going from a place like where I was before to... There's how you do combos. Okay, now I got my combo set up. The I fuck did you do? You dual-wield sights! Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> I love these games so much. <laughs> Instant boner. <laughs> yeah. In the words of the TV show Archer, because I can't remember... Lana! <laughs> from Archer, the TV show. I heard myself get a boner. <laughs> I could hear you get a boner! Uh, but yeah, you're going from like working at Superior to where I am now. I don't I don't know what I would do if I had to go to a place like Superior again. Well one, you definitely wouldn't be able to do this. Maybe. Not, not in the first year, you know, because like there, dude, I remember my very first day at Superior, it was fucking, I worked a, well, my first day out on the road, uh, I worked a 14 hour day, my first day, it was supposed to be 10, and then my paycheck was small because I was getting paid minimum wage at the time, which was 825, and... I fucking, I, like, I made shit money, but I worked so many hours. Like, within my first couple weeks, I don't know if you, you, you worked there, so you, I don't know if you've heard about the 8080 Club. It's where you work, because we got paid bi-weekly. It's where you work 80 hours, and each week of your paycheck, so 160 hours total, or more. I don't remember that. Oh. It wasn't like a real thing, like, hey, join the 8080 club, here's a fucking card, fruit basket, and... <laughs> a card, a fruit basket. Get well soon, shit, balloons. No, it was like, ah, oh, dude, you, you had 160 hours this paycheck? Yeah, I'm sorry. Welcome to the club. Oh, oh yeah, and then this... Oh, fuck, at the fucking executes. wings! Oh, that's sexy. Which is why I don't get why he doesn't just stay in that floor. <laughs> it's but too draining, man. Have you ever been deaf for a day? It sucks. I, I tried once, but... <laughs> I'm telling you, because I wouldn't know. That was cool, too. Yeah, this whole game is awesome. But, uh... Yeah, so... So far, it seems like you're liking it. <laughs> I love this. I love these games. I think I played the first Darksiders, like... Six times in a fucking row. Really? Yeah. That was the very, very first game where I played through it and liked it so much that I played through it again and again and again and again. The game What's was, nice is that this has uh, great. Has, uh, has new game plus on it, so you can go through it. I think the first one did too. It probably did because like that. Would you get down? I'm sure we could find out in the next episode. <laughs> and, well, he got down. <laughs> oh, well, I guess right. we'll find out in this episode. <laughs> Death can continue I, while running on well, parallel uh, of perpendicular penises. Walls. Perpendicular walls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Love you. Oh, that's adorable. Give you a kiss, too. <laughs>